Well, good day, Toots. How's she going? This is Labor Day weekend. Woo, mama. So, anyways, um, long weekend. Monday's off. Big deal, anyways. Uh, this is basically the last long weekend of the summer. So, the roads would be insane. <laughs> but today, we've got a big trick going on with the kids. Uh, my daughter's been looking for the perfect backpack. She still hasn't found the perfect backpack for school. She wants one that she can pull behind her on wheels kind of thing, right? Basically like luggage. So, today's adventure has nothing to do with backpack, but they don't know that. <laughs> so what we told them is, we're going down to the city, to the big backpack store. A big backpack store, which is actually the Toronto Zoo. Shh, so don't say nothing. So there would be a big surprise for them when we get down there, it's not a backpack store. So, but anyways, I just got to offload a bit of stuff here from the other night. I um, went to Princess Auto there and got a couple of things I needed. Um, let's uh, show you before we head her out. So one of the things I got was this huge punch set. Holy freaking crap, the tapered, round tapered punch set. Massive huge. I've got it actually screwed shut. Holy crap. But anyways, you can see them pretty well. That's a big one. Man, I don't even know if that's going to fit my drawer, but I also picked up another roll of oxyacetylene welding hose. A little bit longer than the one I've got, and I've noticed mine, like these are the same ones I was using when I first got my cutting kit here, and they're starting to sort of show some bad things here. You know what I mean? So it makes me a little nervous using them like that. So I figure, well, I'll get some and I'll get a longer set too. So those ones I'll just toss out and probably should do that every once in a while, anyways, because yeah, one of those pops open all of a sudden, yeah, that's going to suck. So this is a 25 foot, so I think this is even a little bit longer now because that one was like, I think it was a 15. And I noticed the other day, oh, it's in the other shop right now, but my clamp on my welder was kind of sort of messing up when I was working on the car the other day there. So I picked up a new one, a little bigger one too. Good one, so I'll show you what's going on. Hard to be going on with that. Yeah, I don't know what this one's done, but it's lost all its like bottom end springs, so the spring's broken or something, maybe, I don't know, but uh, we'll have to replace that next week there. But anyways, that's it uh, for here today. We're heading to the backpack store, okay, backpack store. It's a really, really, really big backpack store. Full of zebras and elephants and tigers and bears. Oh my, oh my. So anyways. Let's head her out. I don't know whether I'm going to film a whole lot on the way down because I got another battery here. I haven't finished juicing, so I'm going to plug her into my uh, whatchamacallit thingy here and then uh, juice her as the way down. So we got two full batteries. All right, man, I sure hope you appreciate coming all the way down here to this backpack store. Man, you better find the one you want. I'll tell you that one. It's got uh, wheels, right? Well, We'll see what we can find, man. Middle of freaking the city here, and holy cow! Panda. <laughs> no, I'm not. Then why does it say recording? <laughs> this does not say recording at all. Yes, it does. It says R E C. No, it does red not. It says R E C. That's my car. No, I think it means recommended. Recommended. <laughs> Raccoon mended. Raccoon. Raccoon do mended. Man, oh man, they're putting these cone things out here. I'm just about having to cream them with this great big beast. Oh! Must be hard to fix these roads. Well, it looks like they've never done her since they put her in. Hard as nails. And of course they don't work on Saturdays. No way. Come on, then. What on earth are you doing? And someone's barfing now, too. Isn't that great? Here too. Oh, shotgun. Oh. 
Hopefully they still got backpacks here. Hmm? Hopefully they here? got backpacks here. Here? You're not ready. Ooh. The backpack place. Holy crap. See? Do you have to pay to get into this place? It's an expensive backpack place. Ten dollars to pay or to park even. Holy cow. That's you stupid. better lift by because I ain't slowing down. <laughs> Holy cow, I didn't think there'd be so many people here buying backpacks. This is insane. It's not a, just a Just a backpack store. Holy cow. This is re ridiculous. Parking this way. What? What are you talking about? What? You're hiding. Thinking you're going for a backpack. <laughs> Trick you actually, you might still find a backpack in here, probably. I'll look at the entrance when she realizes it. Really might have, uh, might have uh, zebras and crap all over it, but that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. zebra crap. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> sucks for you guys that smoke. I thought the zoo was animals, not freaking people. Holy freaking crap, this is gonna suck. And it's just starting, the place is open like half an hour ago, so. Anyways, there is a little train thing in here you can get to, which I think we might get, maybe. Save a little walking. All right, the zoo. We made her. We made her. Now we're gonna run down here and grab the Zoomobile. Zoomobile tours and go for a little bussy toury thingy around the thing and you can get off at like the polar bear exhibit or whatever you want, you know? So you can walk it too, but mm, no thanks. <laughs> I did enough walking yesterday, weed whacking, holy crap. But anyways, let's go, uh, Get a Zoomobile tour. Oh, kind of looks like a go train. We're gonna sit right up here and drive. We're gonna drive. I'm going to drive. Nope. Yes, I am going to drive. Oh, and I'm stuck. <laughs> Ooh, we even got a, a diagnostic port to tell you what's wrong with it. I think, maybe not. Oh man, these are old actually. I thought they were newer than this. Nice hot engine under there. Oh boy. Sweet. This is going to be awesome. Oh, let's see what's under here. Oh, sweet. The hatch. The hatch. It's really hot in there. I don't know what side of the motor's in there, but I guess she's pretty decent. Pretty big car here, really. And then it's, you know. Oh, it is raining. Good thing we're in here, eh? Ooh. And the car goes back quite a piece, too, so that's kind of good. So this is. Pretty sweet. We're about three minutes out of departure here. Oh, well, there tells you how old this thing is. Do not exceed 18 miles per hour. Wow, we knew that was just from the U.S., but it's probably probably from way back. These things are old. Oh, zebra security guy. Sweet, I want that job. You're running around in a, a zebra truck. A truck. A zebra truck. <laughs> Fired up! Oh, air brakes and everything on it. Oh, sweet. And away we go, Peanut. And she's still knitting. Good morning, everyone. Still Welcome knitting. to the Toronto Zoo and the Zoomobile Rider. Lovely oh. driver up front seat is Cassandra. My name is Heather, all the way here after that. We'll one. be taking you on a tour through the major areas of the zoo. We just ask that there's no eating, drinking, standing, or smoking while you're bored. We make the three station stops first at the Canadian Domain, second at the African Savannah, followed by the Americas, before returning to our main station. First up, over on the right hand side, we have our Himalayan car. As their name suggests, they are from the Himalayan. These guys are very social and will usually stay in packs of 30 or 40 while posting one sentinel at the top of the map. Tax as a lookout. You guys may notice that their enclosure fence is quite high. This is the Canadian Domain, six foot high to jump. Six foot high. Woo! Up next on the right hand side, we have a desk that does not have a six foot vertical jump because it's our Indian rhino. We do have two of them, their names are Ash and Karen and Fish Leaf, although they're very solitary and most of Oh, look at that water, peanut. So we have the other sea one out in the Rhino butt. Rhino butt. There's one way in the back there. So the Indian rhino has one horn made up of a protein keratin, which is actually the same protein as human hair and nails, which is kind of cool. Their skin does look tough like armor, but it's actually quite sensitive like human skin. Oh. Oh. Family. So, like, just a fancy word for 
problems than this little girl. Supposed to be elephants in here. I don't see nothing. The draft is the largest. Oh, draft, sorry. Used to be the elephants over here. See the moose anyhow. Well, Hello, Mr. P. Mr. P. Fluff your feathers out, Mr. P. He's got a bunch of pins in his head with feathers on the top. That's funny. Oh, there goes our bus. Oh, there's another one coming. Holy frick. Hello. Hi. Hmm, what else we got up here? We have... Geese. Geese, yes. <laughs> Oh, what are these guys? They're like a uh, woolly mammoth? An alpaca. And stupid geese everywhere. Man, time to get them under control, boys. They're going crazy. Oh, here, this is a hyena. Oh, it's gonna have a lay down. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, yep, this is my spot. All right, look this way there, buddy. This is my spot. Well, he's looking the other way. Got the ears, ears out, listening to somebody. There's some big ear noise collecting ears when he wants them to be, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Holy shnikes, what is this thing? That is one large feller. We're, uh, we're making our way to white lions. Does they take a regular lion and bleach them? I don't know. Oh man, look at the pointers on that guy. These guys are pointing backwards more, though not less so, so much dangerous. Oh boy, those ones are pretty rough. Look at the, the big hill they run down. So there's like, you know, like a 15 foot drop from up here. <laughs> so they can't sort of jump and take off kind of thing. Bath time. One up here, I'll pass out too. 
So they got quite a little pen in there to play with. Hey, Rocks and stuff. And we're way up there. I think there's another where area where we can get to though, maybe. Oh, that's a huge drop down there. <laughs> so even if they did get over their electric fence, there's no chance of jumping that. Holy. Oh. One big feller though. One big feller. This lady sitting over here. Passed out. Yeah, there's the other side. Hey, Dill. Go run in there for a minute, will you? Uh, I want to see if we can wake this guy up here a little bit. I want to pet him. I want to pet him. <laughs> this guy says, I like redheads. They're so much juicier. At another zoo, um, at another zoo, uh, I was wearing a red coat one day. These guys apparently like red coats and they chased me. They, they, because they know redheads are juicy. Yummy. Well, if they were active, we could be down here, you know, teasing them and stuff. They'd walk right in front of you, but they're lazy and sleepy just before lunch, you know, and they don't want to do too much, so. Oh, well. What do you see in here, Dilly? Monkey. Oh. Okay, here you go. Oh, yeah, look. He's eating a stick. I don't have You know what? We didn't bring a stick. this first one. Because I like sticks. No, he's eating bamboo. Oh, there's another one over there. There's probably Back. quite a few of them in here. Oh yeah, all of them. Look, there's yeah. grooming, grooming going on up there. Oh, I'll clean you. Clean your bugs off. That's funny. Yeah, there's one sitting against the rocks over there. Oh, it's, I don't see it. I hardly see it. It's eating the rocks. And there's big ones over there too. It's sitting there being a grump. <laughs> Mr. Grump. Oh, he's right there by the tree. Yeah. They blend in so well. Yeah, I'd say. He's sitting there all day. I they get him some nice water and stuff. Oh, now he's standing up oh, there. Monkeys that like water. All right, we'll stay right here for yeah. All of them. Oh, look, you know, he's moving. I could stay where he was. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, crap, it's raining. <laughs> that guy's just like sitting there. Okay. This guy's just looking up like, what the heck? Where do I go? Wow, I'm they have run fast. Don't oh, look, look at that one. He's just sitting there. Go. Look at them on the tree. Oh, there's, there's, dude, look, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Oh. They need to get some rocks. Yeah. Oh, no. There's a lot more than we thought. We would not be hunters. <laughs> we'll check out another winter, winter. Maybe that far one over there. Well, that towel over How about you focus on the baboon? It's not like she's sitting anyways. And your hair. Yeah. <laughs> and your hair. Ha. <laughs> oh, extremely striped horses. Which I'm thinking of zebras. What are those things? Oh, storks. Those are the things that bring you new babies. They look fake, but anyways, they're probably real. Don't move too much. Throw a rock at them, Dale, they'll move. Where? There, look, zebras. What? Nice zebras. Pigging out. Oh, cheetah, can we find them? Oh, I think I see the top of them. Facing the other way, though. There he is. Ooh, I zoom in a lot. That one's sitting there too. All the way down these Yeah. I There he is. Oh, there's two. There's one beside the tree and one. Okay, so behind these big rocks are geese and ducks and. Rhinoceros. Look at the size of that feller. What's that orange thing? Some kind of weird hybrid goose. That is one big hunk of meat, that guy. Oh, and it stinks too. 
Lots of, it's actually fairly cleanish too, but surprisingly. Annoying geese pooping in the water, and I don't know one's making it all messy. Glasses. What? Oh, I got three rhinos yeah. up there. Holy! Yeah, I look down there. Sunglasses. Where'd they go? Oh, they're there. Ah. Rhino bombs. Let's see if we can get up there, other side there, maybe. Here's some sound and out words for you. Okay, ready? Ah, frickin' Savannah. Ah, frickin' Savannah. Where's the bad case? Uh, it's not here. This is just the African savanna. We're in a roundabout here Penguin. somewhere. Yeah, penguins. Oh, we're just about here at the right time. Go have a look at this big feller. Jeez. <laughs> oh, they've been fighting a bit. Because if you see the one at the back, the one at the back is bruises, so they must Dilly, look at this guy's front nose and stuff. That guy has a big bruise on the side of him. Yeah, they've been fighting. Wooly or mammoth fighters. Now he's trying to itch it because it probably hurts a bit. Here, Rhino! Rhino! Which one? Rhino bum. I don't know where the other guy went. He's up here somewhere. Maybe he's trying to jump the fence. Oh, there he is. He's up in the tree there. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Are they fighting or something? Maybe they're going to fight here. Fight! Nope. They can move pretty quick when they want to, too. Holy cow. One big lump of muscle, these things. Bum to bum. Are we moving on? Huh. <laughs> Come closer. I want to shake your horn. Man, what happened to this guy's beak? It's actually like twisted or bent or something. Hmm. Maybe you can still eat. Sure, are one ugly looking bird though. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I don't see anything in here. Oh, nothing at all. I don't see anything, Dill. Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything at all. Nothing at all there. I don't see anything. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe he's gonna poop all over. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. They're just like alligatoring underneath the water. That's kind of kind of creepy. Hydrating themselves. Hippopotamus. That is the weirdest thing ever. That's deep water. Yeah, it gets down there pretty good, doesn't it? It's probably five, six feet maybe. Huh. It's funny how they like the water so much. Keep nice and cool, I guess. That's its job. Yeah, that's a skull. A fake skull. Kind of munchy looking teeth on him, do aren't there? Just sitting under the water, breathing. This guy's like right under though. I don't know how the heck they heck can stay under. I hope he's not dead. Huh. Let's see if I can get around a bit closer here. And this guy's still under. Holy cow. I hope he's not dead. The other guy's got his nose up breathing and stuff. Hmm. Push him. Make sure he's still kicking. You can see them get up and walk around a bit too, but maybe it's sort of nappy time underwater for the afternoon. Man, I didn't think they were so fish-like. So they're all on their on their water all day. Okay, Laura's been timed them. How long now, Peanut? One minute, twenty-three seconds. Holy crap! It's got to come up for air sometime. That's that's pretty impressive. Oh, there's a bubble coming up. There we go. Time for air. I heard him actually breathe too. He's just like. Great big snort, suck another waft in, and, 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 under we go. <laughs> Holy crap. That's insane. Holy cow, you're riding one, Dill. Yeah. You're going to kill the poor thing. Poor oh, widow hippo. There's supposed to be a baby here somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe they got him locked up right now. I don't know. Oh, effluence. 
effluent somewhere here. Hmm. Well, this isn't the effluents. Uh, elephants it used to be, though. Um, this is the giraffe exhibit. I'm sure they used to have the elephants here. Look how tall the structures are for shade for them. Holy shnikes. He's in here somewhere. There he is. Just a little guy. Huge barricades. Can't jump over that, I guess. There's the other feller down here. Giraffes. Oh, Holy cow, that guy's laying down. I thought he was standing up. He's laying down on the job. This guy's sort of standing. No, we've got to grab some food. Way down we go. And they're a tall bunch. That's amazing. Oh, we're still in search for elf ones because they used to be around here and I don't know where they are. Oh, we're going into the African pavilion. Oh, crap. He's a viper. viper. You like this one, Daddy. Uh, that guy would go really good under the lawnmower. This is the one that squeezes Back in there somewhere. Oh. Look at that. Royal python in there. Where? I don't have good enough eyes. Oh, there he is. Ugh. I figured I'd see that. Oh. What? Oh, glad I wish I didn't. Oh, what's in here? Oh, there's weavers in there. This must be. Oh, I might have to go up higher. Is that on the TV? Yeah. Oh, I see them way up in the corner there. I don't look too accurate. Sure Anyways, uh, look at all the plating and stuff they've got so they can't try to jump from up to there and then grab on and then, you know, grab whatever they want. Let's go have a look. Holy frick, look at this joint. Plant Central. I'm th not sure what that great big leafy thing is, but holy cow, it's almost up to the roof. That is awesome. Look down. What? Oh. Turtle. And fish. Yeah. Fish. And a bunch of... Balls. Softball, fake ball thingies. Hmm. Wow, this is a huge mother place here. I don't know if that's a banana plant or what the heck that thing is, but it's oh, large. Okay. Large building. This is the uh, rainforest exhibit. Oh. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus somewhere. Stay where we can feed you or see you. Somewhere in there is supposed to be hippopotamus. I don't see them. I see some foot marks maybe, but the little guy maybe. River hog. River hog. It's a hippopotamus back there. Pygmy hippopotamus. Little guy. Oh, did you find him? Yeah, he's down there. Who where? Oh, that's a warthog. Here's another one. There's they're just, they're just eating lunch, that's what they're doing. Ugly looking little toads, aren't they? Ew. Lemurs? Lemurs. Oh, come on, like sleepers. Sleepers. They're probably all entire exhibit to lay in <laughs> all this cool stuff to lay on or jump on or lay on or hang over on they're and they're awake, up on the wall when they're awake they're probably yeah. wow there's a there's a bunch of them there a bunch of them there and a bunch of them down there look sleeping not really wanting to play turtle turtle Wow, that's a really high back turtle. It looks like turtle poop too. Radiated tortoise stilly. Turtle poop. Yeah, that's not nice. <laughs> Very clean looking animal. Let's have a look at this guy. He's, he's walking. He's a walking. Oh, there's another guy way over there too. Hiding. Yeah, on the far side of the log there. 
don't give them much for an exhibit here, do they? No, I guess they don't need much. Well, I'm not too sure what those are, but I guess they're lunch for these guys, maybe. Yeah, lunch ish. Yeah, they're sort of kind of ugly looking something, aren't they? Hmm. Quite an exhibit. Exhibit A. Oh, he's having some look. Oh, I love this crap. Find the one I want, though. Oh, no, he walked behind the thing. I can't see him. Oh, he's going to wash it off. Wash it off, and then... Ooh, darn. Oh, he's really giving her a good cleaning. Gone. Poor guy. Had no chance. I think they're all dead anyways. But anyways, there you go. Lunch. Look at the size of this hippo. Holy, he's huge. No, I'm just kidding. That's a rock. There he is. A little smaller. A little smaller. A little smaller. Not too super huge. He's actually walking on the bottom too. Holy cow. Oh, air time. Air time. And squeeze my nose thing shut and away we'll go again. It's funny, he's actually like walking. I guess it gets too deep they start swimming, but... Funny how much time they spend underwater. <coughs> Keeps them from overheating, I guess. Well, this is normally the gorilla indoor thingy, but they're outside today, apparently. Sweet. Well, there's a lot of glare, but there's a crocodile in there somewhere, and you can just see them peering out of the top here. Oh, that's creepy. You did too. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Big, long tail on him. Wow. Spotted necked otter. Oh. Oh, there he is. Somewhere. There he is. Oh, feller. He's pretty big. Loves swimming. Oh, that's an otter. It's an otter, yeah. I think there's only one of them, though. Usually they have a couple, but maybe one sleeping. There he is. He does like the same circuit all the time. Up and around. Oh, and up there and around. Back around here and through that rocket up and around. That's funny. There's the other guy. He's itchy, he says. Itchy. Like greasy, itchy. <laughs> he doesn't even like. The water doesn't even stay on him, it just beads right off again. He's so greasy. Greasy. Mr. Greasy. Hello, feller. If I hold my camera up, are you going to peck at it? Oh, he says I don't like it much. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, that's a pretty nice little place for them to spend their lifetimes. Stuff to play with, lots to climb on. Nice sun to bathe in. By the roadside today. All right, let's see if we can find some gorillas. I bet you they're sleeping. <laughs> I, think I see one fella up there. Looks like he's passed out. Bacon in the sun, that's what's going on there. There's a guy over there. Let's see if I can get on him here. No, it likes the fence better. But anyways, there he is. Sleeping. Couple over here active, but uh, hey, you see the guys in the back? I'm over here, sweetie. Right over there. I like the fence better. What? You gorillas are wanting to do this thing? Are you guys insane? I'm not coming to rescue you. Oh man, you guys are nuts. You are allowed to go up. Gorilla yeah. climb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. designated smoking areas. Hmm, imagine that. Oh, strapping up, I guess. Should be awesome. All the safety equipment. You guys are insane. Guys, while you're up there, there's no running, no jumping, no falling on purpose or anything to one person allowed on each time on an obstacle, make sure you keep the weight rope, then we're going to keep you down on the stairs and try to do it all the time. That's exactly what he says about 100 times a day, probably, or more. I wonder how long it's going to be until someone says, you, you touched my kid. 
Look like you ready to jump out of an airplane, Dilly? And sing. It's gonna be a blast, dude. You're crazy, Peanut. We'll let her get strapped up and then we'll have a look and see what's going on here. I wonder when the last time those things were replaced. Yeah. There you go, Dilly. You gotta drag that rope around with you the whole way. And go way up there. I guess you can pretty much go any way you kinda sort of kinda sort of want, really. It's kinda neat. You should have a GoPro strapped to you, Dill. There you go, bud. Hmm? Not the not the cabbage patch smile, holy. There he goes. No fighting up there, Dill. Let the girls go first, so at least you know if they follow you, you shouldn't do that. They gotta figure out which way you wanna go. There you go, yeah. Holy snikes, he's going up to the top. Allie, smile. Bye, Peanut. Nice knowing you, Peanut. Don't fall, Peanut. Okay, I'm gonna go sit somewhere back further. You're not going across the top? Chickens. Ah, you wimped out. They might get up there yet, who knows. That's actually quite a long way up, that's well. One, two, three stories up, I'd say, up 30 feet. Holy shnikes. It's kind of a neat little system though, you gotta ratchet yourself all through all these little joiner connector dewy thingies, right? And then you swoosh yourself along the track. That's the only thing that's saving your life if you happen to fall. Cool, well, let them have a play for a few here. Oh, we'll let them have a play for a minute. Yeah, see if we can see any gorillas. See the back end of this guy. I don't really want to see your butt. That's the guy that was sleeping, I guess, sir. Mr. Gorilla. Hmm. There's these guys over here. This guy's hanging on the fence. Just passed right out. How many beaters last night, I guess? Oh, this guy's kind of moving. Hard to zoom there. You go a little. That's about the best I can get her, boys. He's just sort of thinking of waking up, maybe. Oh, for sure. Of course, he moves now. Come play with something. Oh, God, he's gonna come this way. Sweet. He's a big feller. Oh, there's one there too. I didn't know that. Sorry. It's funny how slow they walk. I'm sitting here against this fence. This is my spot. Kick this poor guy out. Probably younger. And he's probably the, you know. Oh, it's gonna crash. This is absolutely amazing. The size of these guys to their strength. Holy freaking crap. And passing out. Play with my feet. guy, isn't he? Says you're mean. You kicked me out of my spot. Like itching his feet or something. It's funny. This guy's just loafing over here. Big lump. Lumping. Hey, you missed the big one too. There's a really big one sitting right here in the walking side. Yeah, you're only allowed one at a time. Okay, Dilly's turn. I didn't make her back in time for Peanut. I could go over here actually. Or he's gonna come up. That's an idea. You get no. <laughs> oh, when you're up there. The sitting on the bench. You gonna make her, Dilly? Okay, you gonna make her? Yeah. No, it's I know. Let him get on the platform, Peanut. Now which way are you going? 
Oh, you're gonna go across this hard one now. Go fast, Peanut. Ah! That's pretty cool how that works, eh, Dilly? Huh? That's pretty cool how that works, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna do this one, but I'm not doing that one. I'm coming back. Oh. You might not be able to. That's, that one's easy. It's just two, two rope thingies. Gotta do that one. That's a long way up. Go, Dilly! You can get a little higher here. He made her. Oh, Peanut's taking the big risk. Oh. Dilly chickened out, Peanut. See if you can do it. Are you gonna make it? I didn't think I got a roof. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Peanut. Oh, now you're gonna have to step over the one that's tied down there. Nice, Peanut. Where'd Dilly go? Oh, he's way over there still. Huh. You're gonna go up top. You're gonna go up top. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. I don't know which one Dilly's waiting for, but probably this guy right here. Gonna meet her over here probably. Go, Dilly. This is easy. Make your way up top now, Dilly. Go down this one, and then up the stairs. You have to wait a minute, Dill. Holy cow, Peanut, you're crazy. Crazy Peanut. Where are you going next, Dill? Up there. Oh, up top. Oh, sweet. That's real challenging, that one. Bye, Dilly. <laughs> yeah, he's going up. Now I'm gonna have to get back more so I can see where the heck he is now, I think. Oh, he's going across that beam way up there. Holy cow, he's crazy. I'm not too good on the heights thing. Especially when you look down below and see all the crap you're gonna fall on if you did fall, but you know, they got the safety things on, but. Safety, schmashty. Holy cow, I just got boat dog dive bomb by a seagull there. Well, he made her. Where's Peanut now? Still over there. Well, there's Peanut going up. Dilly's going down across here again. Oh, is she gonna do that crazy one? No, she's gonna go that way maybe. There's too many people waiting on that one. Yeah, she's gonna go across that one. Big chicken butt. Big chicken butt. Man, he's up there now. Crazy kid. All I can see is his legs, but anyways. That was an easy one, Dilly. <laughs> oh, he's going back across. What a wimp. Oh, Dilly. Well, I can't do it on the bottom layer. I can't do it on the top. Yes, you can. It's just higher up. And do it. Hold on to the ropes, Dilly. <laughs> scary, Dilly? What? Is it scary? Yeah. Gotta get the right footing. I don't want to 
Come on, you're almost quarter way there. I just realized when he gets over here, he's gonna have to do it all over again. <laughs> Dilly! Boo, Dilly! I'm gonna try that one. Oh, well, you gotta get up there first. Oh, Dilly. And then I'll peanut butt in the way. Holy cow. What's the matter? Do this one here in front of you then. The two crisscrossing ones. Go straight ahead, Dale. <laughs> Big air. <laughs> Big breath. <laughs> oh, chicken out. <laughs> Dale. Oh, Peanut. You gonna try this one, Peanut? Okay. Scary Peanut. You got a rope above you now. Yeah, I had to hold you. He's gonna try this one. I don't know what's wrong with that other one, but anyways. Still, you got two sides there. Kids are crazy. Man, oh man, they got more nerve than I got, I'll tell ya. Doing good, Dilly. Peanut's just about made her. And she's hugging that pole. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Good job, Dale. Oh, now you're in trouble. Now what you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? Try that, try, yeah, try that one. That one will be good. Chicken. That's an easier one than this one, probably. At least they're tied together on that one. What? These ones here are almost tied together. Best, the one on best one is the um, balance one. Oh. Well, these guys were just given some lunch, so they're all out exploring now. Oh, where's our lunch? They're trying to get it fished out. Oh, look at all these cool things I got in here. Yeah, the other guy got a stick. That's calm. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Yummy lunch. Apple branch. How was that, Dilly? Awesome. You didn't do those wiry ones. What the heck? I did do them some up there. They're all sweaty. Yeah. A lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. I know how the gorillas do it. Yeah. Where's Peanut? Way up there still. Little guy. Where'd he go? He's hiding behind that pole. Oh, look at the data. There somewhere. Come over here, you sit over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, little guy. It's a long way down for little guy. Daddy! Right here. I'm trying to get up. The rope's pulling on him though. Well, there's an Africa restaurant, an African restaurant, African. We're gonna go have some African lunch. Probably not African food though, but anyways, yummy. Okay, ready? Watch this. Nine bucks for a hamburger. Woohoo, mama. Okay, there's a the whole entire zoo. So, so far all we've done is um, 
come in the front gates, jumped on the Zoomobile here, went around to here, uh, all the way around to, to here and jumped off. And then we walked in, we saw the these guys, the cheetah, <clears throat> and all the way around here, the uh, whatchamacallit, and the giraffes. Went through the pavilion here. Now we're, uh, that's where the kids were climbing by the gorillas outside. Now we're just eating lunch here. Then we're gonna go up here and look at the penguins next and then come back around and then, pardon me, hit her into the Americas. Oh, penguin feet. Penguins. Oh, there's one guy in a tuxedo. There's a whole bunch over there. What are you looking for? Oh. Well, someone throw in a rock and get them moving or something. Oh, he's Holy. So mean, I've never seen lazy old penguins. Yeah, Daddy, those, we need this pool. What do you think those birds oh. are, Joe? Oh. That's quite a beak on that guy. Holy. Those guys probably steal and try, try and steal the penguins' food. They're pelicans. Yeah. Yeah, they got the big floppy, floppy those underneath of them. Those are one of the things that got off. Oh, he's chasing the butterfly. Where? Really? <laughs> Here's the penguin. Here's the butterfly. Get him. Sick him. They're a funny creature they are. Mm -hmm. Try to fly. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, the there's an underwater thing too if you want to look underneath. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, underwater. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. Swimming. Oh. Huh. I don't see any drips, so I guess that's a good thing. Oh, drips would be bad. Oh, swimming. swimming area and stuff out here. So he thinks he's just made up a big dam, I guess, but sure, it's good looking, like smooth, nice coat on him. Nice beaver. These people are insane. I don't know how tall how high that is, but watch this, ready? It's like a zip line thingy, but you're on like a seat thingy. Yeah, they bring up the top and let them starve for a few minutes. And it's like a gravity fee thing and then you gain more speed up. Holy crap, that's insane. Well, there's what they need to keep the polar bears cold, I guess. One, two, three, cooling machines. Holy cow. We are going to go see some polar bears and hopefully they're not sleeping. Or I am going to throw Dilly in. And then they'll... Then the <laughs> what? And then they'll be moving. There they go, crazy people. Looks fun. Yeah. And you hang up there and dangle. Dangly, dangly, let the cables rest a minute. And then watch you die. Well, who knows? Here they come, crazy people. Thank you, we just missed you. So they're still pigging out. Yummy. Oh, 
some stuff, some stuff out of the rain, probably. Come on out of the water, buddy, so we can see you. Oh yeah, back on the trip, 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 train. Uh, hello. I don't think there's a room on there at all. Not awful. Hope some people get off. Yeah, we'll right? but we have had some delays. So the only way to see these animals is on the Zoomobile, so I'll do my best to point them out as we come through. No guarantees. Oh. Right hand side, this is home of the Barbary Apes, and we have two Barbary Apes in this particular enclosure. Uh, Pink and Shannon are their names, two females. Males are about twice the size of females. Unfortunately, we don't have any for a comparison. Man, I'm sleeping. Now we do have another Barbary Ape in the farther enclosure back there, and she is actually the oldest Barbary Ape in all of captivity in the world. She's 32 years old. Wow. The Preswals, the horses, the yaks. Through a, through a locked gate even. Nothing separating us from them, as you can see by this horse right up close to the Zoomobile as we head in. So once we're in, we're going to wait for the gate to close behind us just so everyone's aware. Please remain in your seats. Keep all body parts inside the vehicle. He will eat them. If you need anything, if you drop anything, yell back to me. To get the attention of your driver. you will find a way to retrieve it. You see it? He's just taking out. Gates closed, well, no, it sounds like. Uh, On the left, that's the only male horse that we have in here right now. Now we're now we're all dead. Now, if you look over your left hand shoulder, if I'm not mistaken, you'll see First that this Preswalski horse has a marking on his neck there. I'll explain what that is in a second. So basically, Preswalski horses discovered by Nikolai Preswalski later half of the 19th century in Mongolia. They're the last true breed of wild horse. All others have been domesticated. Now, at one point, there was only about 17 left in the entire world. Since then, they were captured, rebred in captivity. Numbers are about 2,500 now. So these guys went from a population of 17 to over 2,000 in the span of just about 30 years. So coming back to the marking on that guy's neck, what that means is he has very, very good genes in terms of breeding. So he is a very, very important Preswalski horse to their overall existence. Hmm. And these are our females here. We have quite a few. Looks like you guys are going to get a nice little treat as well. We have the Mouflon nice up and close to the Zoomobile. Now these guys used to be a little skittish, but they have gotten quite used to the Zoomobile going by. Here, look, this side guy. So these guys are wild sheep. They're you bad see sheep. Those big horns that curl over their head. Bad sheep. Now the bigger the horns, the more dominant the Ooh. male. Bigger guy. Because as they hit against each other, <laughs> they grow. As they get injured, they regrow stronger and stronger, bigger horns. Left hand side, yaks. We have eight yaks here, one male, his name's Saint Hubert, eight females, or seven females, Zodi Hudson, Sable Shadow, uh, those are the adults. We also have Amy who was born last year, and we have two babies that were born this year. So keep your eyes out for, hopefully you can find the babies, a little tricky to see right now it seems. Oh there they are, right up against the wall you can see at least one of the babies. They're in the shade. See there's that air conditioner, that's misty. Water for them. See, the, see the air? That's uh, supposed to be the camel yard. Oh. Camels out of one hump and there's called back chain camels with two humps. Easy way to remember that. Capital D for dromedary, one hump. Capital B, back chain, two humps. Yeah. Oh, he's got water. Sweet. As we come up here, left hand side is the kid zoo. Oh, sweet. Leave the kids there. For those of you who don't know, we do have a kid zoo here, lots of cool little activities, some smaller animals for the kids to enjoy. We got a sand pit, uh, tree fort, just a couple things I can think of off the top of my head. No, this is the largest. Yeah. You guys may recognize them from the front of the Red Bull can as they are the mascot for Red Bull. Now she's all black with black fur, that's the big melanistic jaguar. This means the opposite of albino. 
It's actually suggested that one in every one in four Jaguars is melanistic. Just beside them is the year. Oh, behind the scenes. The only day we are closed is on Christmas. Over on the left hand side, we have our Animal Nutrition Center, where nutritionists work to make over 400 meals. At the end of the year, our grocery bill total is up to be over a million dollars. We get paid for parking today. We'd like to thank you for pitching in on that massive grocery bill. And finally, we just passed our Animal Health Center. This is a fully equipped veterinary clinic where we have three full-time veterinary staff. We also have a mobile clinic for the animals that are way too big to fit into that little building. Mm. As we come around the back oh, here, we are approaching John Deere. Oh, the JCB. This is the American and oh. Hundred Truck Stop, home of the polar bears and cute, including International. That's an old one. We also have Snow Owls, Arctic oh, Foxes, Arctic Wolves, Komodo Dragons, Bird Eating Spiders, and lots to see here. We also have the Australasia Pavilion, the New Great Barrier Reef so exhibit, on. as well as the American Pavilion and the Caribbean. Oh, giant panda. The giant panda. Let's go see how big a giant panda is. Ooh, it's a scary scary bamboo forest. Oh, panda over there. I see him. I see him. Oh, I see him. Oh, there's another one. Is there any pandas, Dilly? There he is. Oh, there's something else. There he is. Well, I don't got a perfect view here, but he's just pigging out. Pigging out. I think it's a guy in a suit. A panda suit. I don't think it's a real one, Peanut. I don't know though. Hard to say. He is taking out on Jumbo something or another. Hmm. Must be good stuff. Part of their normal diet, though. Hey, Some leaves. <laughs> Must have to eat a lot of leaves in a day. I guess the box of cereal helps though. Holy. Oh, that was a huge box of cereal. <laughs> Holy crap, they even photobombed. Even have a Mandarin Chinese restaurant in here. Can you believe that? It's only an express, so you get like a rice or noodles, vegetables, and two spring roll for eight bucks, or blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. blah. Rice, three chicken ball, one spring roll, cooey chicken, ugh, for ten bucks. Me, bamboo tine. Yummy. Oh, camel toe. Camel toes. That's a big feller. We give you camel rides here, probably 48 bucks. No doubt. Smell included. Smell is free. Holy crap! Holy carp! Holy carp! They think you're gonna feed them. You gotta hang your thing over and. Feed, feed, feed me, feed me. If you had bread, I would eat it. Yeah. Holy cow, it's like sharks coming in. Holy shark. That's a lot of fish. I think you're gonna feed them. Feed me. Feed me. Ready, watch, watch this, ready? Where is that? Paper. They're like, we're not stupid. <laughs> we're not that dumb. You must think I'm dumb. Well, That's a lot of fish. Well, could be some nutritional value in some paper, I guess. I don't know. Wow, I think we got them all Dylan. sucked over here now. Dylan, spit at them. Hmm? Daddy. 
Oh, they Whoa. like spit. That's disgusting. You sick freaks. Well, what could I guess they bottom feed? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Sick old tail. <laughs> they just love that. That's disgusting. That's some kind of kangaroo-ish kind of guy. A wallaby. A wallaby. He's lonely. Yeah. He's a wallaby. Lonobi. 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 He was jumping, but he's kind of stopped now. Huh. Well, we're gonna watch these crazy people come down the zip line thing here. They're getting reeled up right now, I guess. Sounds like they're running the line. And I guess they hit this thing here, and I don't know what it does, but some kind of braking system, I suppose. So, any second, they just left. Oh, sounds like they're coming back down. Reverse thrust. Full speed ahead. And here they come. They hit this thing and... Oh, it's like a bungee cordy thingy. I see. Scary. And it's got like a air piston, I think, that builds up pressure and slows you down. It's kind of cool. Still crazy. I don't know how they landed this plane in here without crashing into the trees. Somehow they got them in. That's like a full-size airplane right there. That's kind of cool. Pretty neat. Look at this grumpy looking face. What's the matter, Dilly? Wanna go home? <laughs> Someone's a little tired. I guess we better head her home. Man, that's a sour puss. <laughs> oh, he is so grumpy. Oh, Dilly, you're so grumpy. <laughs> Don't you dare smile on her eye. Grumpy! Grumpy! Ostriches are the third fastest land animal. They can reach speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour and maintain these speeds for about 40 minutes. But their brains are about the size of a walnut, so even though they run really fast, sometimes I forget why. And where they're running too. Here, so make sure you remain seated and hold on. If you happen to drop anything off the side of the zoomobile, don't attempt to retrieve it. Just let myself or Carolyn know and we'll send somebody back to get it for you. Explode peanut. Oh. Horses again. Shabalski horses. These horses were founded by Nicholas Shabalski, a Polish explorer in the late 19th century. They are a Mongolian wild horse and they are the only true wild horse. All the other horses have been bred from the domestic breed, so that means these guys have never seen a saddle in their life. At one point, there was only 17 of these horses left in the world, but due to captured breeding, we have been able to bring up those numbers into the thousands and establish a small herd of about 300 back into the Gobi Desert. So if you're wondering why all these horses are so similar in size and shape, it's because they are all bred from those original 17. Over to your left, you can see our mouflon. They're a type of wild sheep. They're actually the national animal of Cyprus. And they were one of the first endangered animals to be successfully genetically cloned and survive past infancy. So this is our male herd. You can tell they're males because of the horns. Male mouflon have horns and females do not. Oh. See what's just over there. Yeah, we have Gemini and Summer Ray. 
So I'm gonna raise the lighter brown furred one. You can see her just sitting back there by herself. She was born on Canada Day, and some, uh, Gemini was born uh, about three months ago. Yeah, about two, three, five, three. We also have the back tree camels, which have two humps, and dromedary camels have one hump. A common misconception about camels is that their humps are stored in water. They're actually filled with fat. About 90 pounds of fat. This provides a nourishment those hot days in the desert when they can't get their food or water. Patient. I believe the last field girl has left for the night, so everybody does have to exit to their left when the zoo field comes to a complete stop. The zoo does close at 7 o'clock today, so you still have about half an hour. So if you want to go check out some other animals, the Indian rhinos, the tapir, the butterflies, the red pandas, the orangutans, the Sumatran tigers, the one-handed gibbon, and the reticulated python are just around the corner here. On behalf of myself and Carolyn, I'd like to thank you for riding with us and enjoy the rest of your night. Well, that's a custom parking job. Guess there was nothing left. But we got oh, 100 feet left. That guy can make her. We're heading her home. Yeah. My legs are killing. <laughs> Made her home. Holy cow. 10 o'clock. That was a long freaking day. But anyways, I'm heading her into bed. I'm going to edit this up the next day, tomorrow, whatever. And then post her up for probably Monday or Sunday. I don't know. I'm so wired and freaked out right now. And that's enough for me. But anyways, I'm heading her in. Have a good night. Thanks for enjoying the zoo. Hope you did. I did.